Welcome, my Elder Scrolls loving, my Ike adoring, gun shooting, Thalmor slaying friends to another Elder Scrolls video. I'm your host, Cowboyborn, and today we will be going over another one of your suggestions because I love you. So Lucario here does not think my gun mod for Skyrim was lore friendly enough. Imagine the audacity in some people, man, to assume a C190 11 punch one something isn't lore friendly in a medieval magic game. People, man, I swear. So they recommend a lore friendly Dwemer rifle so I guess I'm gonna show you guys why my decision is still the better one but there's no shame in showing you the lacking choice or in this instance a so called Dwemer rifle <clears throat> how about we just go and look on the nexus for this so called mod because life yes So my travels took me to the Google website. Not Bing. If you use Bing, you have to be either one of two things. One, a homicidal crazed lunatic, or two, somebody completely addicted to sweet rolls. Like Gisargo here. Ew. I searched up the term Dwemer Rifle and I got a link to this specific mod on the Skyrim Nexus. It just looks like a cop out of the really cool gun mod I showed in the last one. But I'll stop droning on, it deserves a fair shot. The mod was created by user Edgy Blues. Sounds something like a colour would name itself if it was given human emotion and a self-working motive in 2019. Heard of edgy blue? Well now you're in for a treat. Aren't you glad you picked my e? <laughs> According to this description, it's a custom made weapon made off of Dwemer technology. It has custom sounds for draw, charge and fire. It resembles a rifle. It shoots projectiles at high speed. Well, I would hope so. It's a gun. You can put it in either hand and can even dual wield. You can literally become Cowboyborn. The hooting, tooting, shouting, rooting dragon slayer of the Tamriel West. Y'all get what I'm saying? It was an attempt. Leave me alone. So you can get this weapon by doing a quest. That's always a neat little thing to add to small mods. Something for you to do extra most of the time. It doesn't hurt to do and can be fun. And our quest starts in Markarth with Calcemo. Well, not with Calcemo directly, but his journal, which we can find right here near where he stands, I think. But I think we should try out the quest and see where our adventure will take us. We might get some really cool weapons. So the quest is called Forbidden Weapon and the journal talks about two different weapons we can get that Calcemo has left in his laboratory. One talks about shooting high-speed projectiles and the other also shoots high-speed projectiles because nothing is as cool as the other gun mod where I got to shoot literal fire grenades but we're not gonna talk about that here. Me being the greedy whoer I am, I want the two of them and I want them right now and nobody can tell me otherwise. You hear me you degenerates. If you even think of getting it before me, I'll cut your ears off and sell them to Jazargo. So I did my usual Usual trickery. I snuck into the closed museum, encountered a very strange lightning lighting glitch of some sorts. It didn't really go away. It looked like the Bethesda logo was stagnated. I, I don't even know. I blame my 123 installed mods. But then I continued to sneak past the unsuspecting guards and down to the back of the museum. I went into the side room the compass was telling me to go to and encountered a Khajiit sitting on a chair. He was my destination. And when I checked what was in his pockets, he indeed had both of the Dwemer rifles. I had a 0% chance to pickpocket them, so I chose the only way I know how to take things in Skyrim when I want them, and somebody just doesn't want to give them to me. And in my personal opinion, it is the easiest way to get things. It turns out I also was accidentally using fire rounds from the other gun mod loaded into my crossbow. But don't tell anyone from watching this video that I used them. It would make reviewing this gun mod look really bad. If you give the note on his body a read, he was instructed to steal the guns for the Thieves Guild, which is a nice little touch on the side. Too bad I'm in need of some hardcore firepower, or an upgrade preferably. He was in my way. But lo and behold my friends, the Dwemer rifle, and might I say it has a mighty fine design. It really is very nice to look at and seems to be scaled well with my current stat. They don't weigh too much either so it's overall it's nice. But we want to test these bad boys out. Let's head into the wilderness and give them a shot. Might I mention to you all I am using this mod on vanilla Skyrim. I have my vanilla Skyrim modded up though so if it looks bad it is old room. I couldn't find this mod for special edition Skyrim which was a shame since that game vanilla looks better than old room with mods most of the time. That's talking no E and B's being used okay. 
but you all suck. Why do I insult you? No, my friend. Why do you insult me by being so goddamn incredible? Wow, you're really gonna hit the like button for me? But that's way too generous. What's that? You're also gonna leave some suggestions for videos in the comment section? I don't deserve you, but let's be real. Let's bring the gun outside and shoot up some Nazims and random Khajiit. Come on, amigo. Can I call you amigo? Good. I knew there was just something there leading to a friendship between us. So I've decided to test the guns out in Markhard instead because there's some unsuspecting guards on my way out and what better way to test out something you got than to test it out right away in the closest target you can find. <laughs> my game crashed. God damn it, my- So I uninstalled the other gun mod and moved some stuff around, and I'm gonna try this out one more time. We're going to pray for the luck of the Irish on this one, comrades. The luck of the Irish. Before I go on a rampage, I thought I would show you guys some cool outside shots of the guns in my hands and the sound of the shot. The guns seem to pull from a pool of infinite ammo. I would call it magic, but, you know, the sound. As you can hear by this very crisp reload noise, if it were magic, the gun was pulling from, like everything Dwemer, this sound here is the sound of a cocking handle, which is used for real bullets, not magic. So I guess if you want infinite ammo, here you go. Also, after some testing and using the eyes Talos gifted me, as you can hear and see, bullets are falling onto the ground, meaning the Dwemer had access to 5.56mm ammo, I think? That's what it kinda looks like? I don't know man, this dude told me this was lore friendly, but I don't remember any goddamn Dwemer walking around with two pistols, shooting out world bullets whilst looking like a freaking cowboy. Or was there? I don't even know. I wouldn't be surprised, but you know. But let's see how this works outside when we go around shooting some things and testing it on the unsuspecting folks of Tamriel, or in this case, Skyrim, because that's all we have access to until the Elder Scrolls 6. Please, Todd. So you will probably see me shooting random things in the background. The gun does a ton of damage. It isn't nearly as broken as the last gun mod I covered. That stuff was broken, man. This is definitely toned down a bit more. It does follow a Dwemer design. The gun looks really nice and it is super cool to go around with the guns dual wielding like some crazy desperado cowboy. We just need to find a mother truck and poncho and we'll be 100% on our way to Cowborn. It deals enough damage on lower difficulties to make the game a breeze but as the difficulties go higher it does less and less. I still feel having this kind of power in both hands is unfair to the enemies around you. I do like things that leave me with a challenge but you can just abuse shouts or run away from enemies or mess up their AI by going to unreachable platforms where they can't get you and then shooting them until they are dead. With giants and dragons it just felt quite tedious to use. Same feeling I get when doing archery in Skyrim. Archery is pretty tedious. There isn't much variation to the combat when you literally just shoot arrows over and over again. It was fun to use for the time I used it and as you can see it makes use of ending the lives of humanoids within a couple of seconds. Nazim is especially fast to kill but I definitely don't think this is lore friendly. Other than the bullet it's been an obvious giveaway, the sounds just really throw you off and I might as well just be using an explosive sniper rifle. So feck you Lucario, thinking you no lore friendly, you hooligan yeah. Unless they were talking about another mod that isn't this specific rifle, but this looked like the best one out of them all so I would assume this was the one, but even so, you hooligan, how dare you put me up to this. The last complaint I have overall is that none of these mods have their own animations. I know it's hard to make mods and especially animate ones as well, but people have animated much less than guns and I just can't find any. So anyway, I do think that's this mod all looked at. Don't say I don't take your guys' suggestions. If you leave a comment with a suggestion for a topic or a question or some mad information or even a mod, I'll always check out a few. I love covering things you guys tell me to and including you guys in the video somehow. It makes me happy and I hope it make some of you smile because I really do enjoy looking over some of the content for the game. I can't bring myself to buy Creation Club stuff, I don't know man, I just don't want to. There's too many mods out there already that I can just download and play for free, but enough chat. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and if you didn't and I made you cry tears of sadness, leave a dislike. All sorts of ratings help me out and as I said before, a million times comments are especially welcome. But until the next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day maybe? Could be week, a month, or even this year. And I will uh, see you guys there.